Ooh, I love this. Can I like adjust it manually? Anyways, um, is this on focus? No, nope, we're doing manual focus. Anyways, I am currently breaking out. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna get glammed up. And um, let's do makeup first because why not? We love having our makeup done first before our hair, but we're going to prep our hair and we're going to prep our hair with some dry shampoo because we're starting to get a little bit oily. So hold on. So we're going to go ahead and use this one right over here. It's from um, IGK. And let's just kind of go ahead and just spray our hair a little bit. I love the smell of it and it feels so freaking nice. Because when we're going to do our hair, we're going to crimp it up. So we just want a little bit of volume. And this gives a nice volume. So. Okay. Just like that. We're going to go ahead and massage it in. Okay. Let's go ahead and clip it away and start doing our freaking makeup. I'm going to do my makeup standing up. Voila. It is out of our way. And let's go ahead and start doing our makeup. So I've already put sunscreen on my face, but I'm gonna go ahead and rewash it and just um, kind of get a new surface, a prep surface. And I wanna wash my hands as I did massage my um, hair. So let's be right back. Okay, once we have that going on, we have a clean base. As you can see, I have a lot of acne going on right now because I started picking my face. Usually it happens when I'm watching videos and I just start like scratching my face. So because of that, it is what it is, and we're gonna go ahead and just, oh, it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, okay. Honestly, I love using this while I'm out of frame the whole time, sorry guys. Okay, I honestly love using this, but it burns. Like, when you have an open wound, it burns so much, but when you don't have open wounds, it's like, <laughs> I don't have any open wounds. So right now I have a few going on. I have the one that's here, here, here. Then I have here, and then I have here. I have a few open wounds, so it's gonna sting. Okay. So this one technically you're supposed to do at nighttime, but I do it night and morning because I have a lot of acne wounds and a lot of acne scarring and bless my heart, I still have going on because I like picking my face. I swear I hate pronouncing this one. Our hyaluronic acid, it helps hydrate the skin, which especially right now during the cold, hydration is a must on your skincare. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use some sunscreen. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one right over here. This one's a super goo. I am going to order another one because I'm not a big fan of it. I kind of now want the one that has a slight tint to it. Because then it kind of will hide this, you know. But anyways. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add this one, which is actually one of my favorite ones. I, I wasn't a big fan of it until recently. But I actually really do like it now. It is a Tula one. And it is like, it's weird. Like it has a weird chunky consistency. But it also gives you like a nice skin glow. So I like that part. And it is a sunscreen. So I just kind of focus it on the hollow of my cheeks and my forehead. Just like that. Just to give you kind of like a glass skin look. Look at that. Look at that illuminosity. What is that? And then I go ahead and apply some on my nose and on my chin, whatever is left. Just to kind of give you like a nice glowy effect going on. Okay, once we have that, I'm going to go ahead and apply some moisturizer. And I'm going to be using the Truly Organic um, Glass one. I honestly really do love it. I do feel like it is an expensive side, but this one does give you like a nice little glow. So, and it's really like super light. And... I did not know that the Kate Somerville, that little pink thing, was really expensive and I used it all completely and I honestly really love it. I don't know if I want to spend $80 on it. I really do love how it makes your skin, like the recovery. It's just like, you know when you wake up and you have like a swollen face and you can tell that you just woke up? Well, when you apply that Kate one, it's purple, not pink. When you apply this Kate one, 
it honestly just like removes that sleepy puffiness face of you that you have and it just gives you like a nice glow up you know i don't know i really do like it so i don't know how i want to spend 80 bucks on it though it's pretty expensive all right now now we have this glow going on so now that that's going on we're gonna let that settle in i'm gonna go ahead with the makeup Honestly, I really do like it and I hated that I spent 15 bucks on this little one when I just should have bought it $30 and spent on the large one Ugh. So for foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills because I want a glow going on And let's go ahead and start applying. I'm gonna use a brush because Honestly, I don't feel like wetting my beauty's blender. So we're just gonna go ahead and use a, a brush one pump Ooh, that looks really good Look at that Whatever's left, I'm just going to go ahead and attack it on my forehead. So I'm going to use the Tarte one. And we're just going to go ahead and just... Honestly, Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation is actually one of my favorite ones. I really don't use it as much because it is up there in price. We're going to go ahead and now work with concealer. And just kind of brighten up a little bit of our eyes. I'm going to go ahead and with the Natural Light of Tarte. Go ahead and just kind of do that one. This instantly like mats your face down. So, you know when I debunked the freaking TikTok stuff? Honestly, we do need beauty spray because that gives you a glow back. Unless there's powder out there that does not mattify your face. Which, if you guys know about one, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know any of them. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our butter bronzer. Which is actually one of my favorite ones. I'm just gonna chisel our cheeks in a little bit. Whoop. Just just to give a little bit more of a color back in. Give us some dimension. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like I've grown out of a lot of makeup. And I'm still obsessed. Like I love makeup, don't get me wrong. But I don't really use it anymore, especially since COVID and since I started working. I just feel like I kinda like let a passion go which it sucks but you know it's just the job industry it's just like there's no point i don't know you guys i'm thinking of quitting and just throwing myself out there in luck and um let me know i'm thinking of quitting for december because i want to be happy and 20 2020 was a and 2021 i wanted to be better you know we're gonna go ahead and use a mac fix spray because we need life back into our skin we're gonna go ahead and use this one it's from um makeup revolution by london we're gonna go ahead and use this one and then we're gonna go ahead and put on this one right over here which is our kiss um lash liner glue in the color noir it's my favorite one do not like this i do not like this am i am i do not like this at all okie dokie kiss yes kiss liner look at that okay Okay, so now that we have our liner going on, we're going to do our lips. And we're going to do noir. Ooh, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and my eyeliner. No, my lashes and my hair off camera. And then we're going to come back to, to show you the finishing look. So we're done. We have our eyelashes and I decided not to um, curl my hair because it was going to take a lot of work and it's already pretty late anyways. It's already like 3 o'clock and we got to get ready for pictures before the sun goes down. You know what? No, I might crimp it actually because what is this? What is this? Get these. Trust me. Get them. And you won't regret it. Trust me. It's like the easiest way to do your aligner. I love you guys and I hope you guys are doing freaking great. And we'll see you guys in my next video.